Good afternoon, everybody. My name is David Nyer. I'm the Chief of the Division of Fisheries Management. For this presentation, we'll give an overview of Pennsylvania's wild and stock trout fisheries. First, what species of trout are found in Pennsylvania? First off is the brook trout. Currently, the Pennsylvania state record is seven pounds, zero ounces. This fish was caught in Fishing Creek, which is located in Clinton County. The world record, 14 pounds, eight ounces, is from the Pigeon River, located in Northern Ontario. The next species is the brown trout. The Pennsylvania state record is 20 pounds, nine ounces. This fish was caught in Lake Erie, which is located in Erie County. The world record is a little over 42 pounds and was caught in New Zealand. The next species that is found in Pennsylvania is the rainbow trout. The current state record is 15 pounds, six ounces, and that was caught in Jordan Creek, which is in Lehigh County. The world record is 48 pounds even, and that was caught in Southern Saskatchewan. Also located in Pennsylvania is a lake trout. Currently, the Pennsylvania state record is 31 pounds, 13 ounces. This fish was caught in Lake Erie in Erie County. The world record is 72 pounds, zero ounces, and that fish was caught in Great Bear Lake in Northwest Territory. So where to fish for trout? There's really four different types of systems we talk about uh, that provide opportunities to catch trout throughout Pennsylvania. First, streams. We also have rivers. We have many lakes that are stocked with trout. Uh, and we also have tailwater fisheries. The brook trout is Pennsylvania's state fish. It has many other common names, including the hemlock trout, mountain trout, and speckled trout. It is native to Eastern North America, all the way from Eastern Canada, south along the Appalachian Mountains into Georgia. Currently, it is widely distributed throughout the US and Canada, and this is Pennsylvania's only native stream-dwelling trout. Brook trout can be found in streams that contain cool, clean water. These streams are usually in areas and watersheds that have a high forest cover and limited development. Currently, most of our brook trout populations are located in headwater streams. Brook trout can also be found in lakes, given the same requirements are met, the cold, clean water. Their diet consists of invertebrates, both terrestrial and aquatic, and also fish. Brook trout prefer cold, well oxygenated water. Their optimal temperature for feeding and growth ranges from 55 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Very few brook trout will be present in the system when temperatures exceed 68 degrees Fahrenheit. The upper, upper temperature tolerance limit is around 74 degrees for brook trout. Brook trout are short-lived and do not attain a large size. In Pennsylvania, they seldom live longer than five years. They usually reach their sexual maturity at age two or three. And looking at the length and age graph here on the right-hand side, you can see that very rarely do wild brook trout uh, live past five or six years in, uh, of age, and very seldom do they reach more than nine inches in length. Spawning occurs late autumn, anywhere from September through November. Wild brook trout have been documented in over 3,800 streams, totaling approximately 9,800 stream miles. The map on the upper right-hand corner shows the statewide distribution of where these populations are located. You can see here that most of them are occurring in some of the more mountainous regions of the state, like the Laurel Highlands, mountains of central Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Plateau, and the Pocono Mountains. And most of these populations in the north central are, are occurring in areas where we have large tracts of publicly owned land. We do also stock hatchery brook trout throughout the year. We currently stock roughly 300,000 brook trout on an annual basis. They're stocked in roughly 186 stream sections are stocked with 220,000 fish, and we also stock 35 lakes with roughly 82,000 fish as well. The next species we'll talk about is the brown trout. It has a couple other common names that it's referred to as the German browns or salmon trout. They're native to Europe and Western Asia. They were first introduced into North America in 1883 and were initially stocked into two states, New York and Michigan. They're widely distributed throughout the US and Canada. The Fish and Boat Commission continues to stock brown trout as part of their stock trout waters program. Brown trout generally prefer larger streams and warmer water temperatures when compared to brook trout. However, the two do coexist. We've documented numerous streams that contain both wild brook and wild brown trout populations. Given proper conditions and forage, brown trout will exhibit excellent growth and survival in some lakes as well. Their diet consists of both invertebrates, including terrestrial and aquatic, invertebrates, including fish and small rodents. Preferred water temperature range for optimal feeding and growth for brown trout is anywhere from 58 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Upper temperature tolerance limit for brown trout is around 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, these brown trout are more tolerant to warmer water temperatures 
uh, when compared to brook trout. They also grow faster and live longer than brook trout. They can live as long as they can live longer than five years, but rarely over 10 years of age in Pennsylvania. Similar to brook trout, they reach sexual maturity at the age of two or three. Looking at the graph on the right hand side, looks at the uh, length at age for brown trout. And you can see over the course of five or six years um, of age, these fish exhibit faster growth when compared to brook trout. They usually spawn in the autumn, anywhere from October through December, and spawning usually occurs after brook trout. Wild brown trout populations have been documented in nearly 18,000 streams, which total approximately 9,000 stream miles. Looking at the map on the upper right hand corner, you can see the statewide distribution of where those populations are located throughout the state. One thing that stands out is we tend to see more populations of brown trout occurring in south central PA, southeastern PA, and northeastern PA areas that typically have um, warmer water temperatures at, at some point throughout the year. We also stock adult hatchery brown trout as well. Currently we stock roughly 650,000 brown trout on an annual basis. We stock 857 stream sections with nearly 640,000 brown trout. We also stock 25 lakes with approximately 26 brown, 26,000 brown trout as well. And the map on the bottom right hand corner shows the distribution of where these stockings are occurring. The next species we'll talk about is the rainbow trout. It has a couple other common names, cam roots and steelheads, just to name a few. Um, rainbow trout are native to the Pacific coast of Canada and the United States in north of the Amur River Basin and in Russia. They're widely distributed throughout the United States and worldwide. Again, rainbow trout are not native to Pennsylvania and the Fish and Boat Commission stocks them extensively throughout the Commonwealth. Rainbow trout are typically found in small to moderately large streams. They're also found in some of our low gradient limestone streams as well. They have a preference for alkaline waters, which explains why we find some naturally producing populations of rainbow trout in some of our limestone streams throughout the state. They prefer deep, cool lakes that have adequate shallows and vegetation. We've also documented reproducing populations with, of rainbow trout within lakes in areas where we have streams entering the lakes providing for suitable substrate for spawning. Their diet consists of invertebrates, consisting of both terrestrial and aquatic, and also fish. Water temperature requirements of rainbow trout uh, again, they prefer water temperature from 50 to 65 degrees, and this is the temperature in which provides for optimal feeding and growth. Like brown trout, they are tolerant to warmer temperatures, usually around 78 degrees is where their um, upper, te upper temperature tolerance limit is. Some strains have been known to survive in waters reaching 85 degrees. Again, this is very rare and uncommon. Usually live anywhere from four to eight years long in Lake Brook and Brown Trout. They usually reach sexual maturity or age, around age of two or three. You can see at the age, the length of the age uh, chart here on the right hand side, similar to brown trout, um, over the first five or six years of their life, they grow pretty quick uh, when, compared to, when compared to brook trout. Spawning, again, these are not native to Pennsylvania, so in their native range, spawning usually occurs from late spring through early September, the March-June timeframe. We have documented populations of naturally producing rainbow trout throughout the state. Currently, we've found them in 51 streams that total roughly 275 stream miles. And looking at the map on the right hand side, you can see the distribution of where they occur throughout the state. And in most cases, these are occurring in some of our limestone or limestone influenced uh, systems or, or areas where we have some, some springs coming in that are providing for more consistent year round stream temperatures. We do stock hatchery rainbow trout throughout the state. Uh, roughly 2.2 million rainbow trout are stocked on an annual basis. We stock 878 stream sections with nearly 1.7 million hatchery rainbow trout every year. We also stock 106 lakes with roughly a half a million rainbow trout. So again, we stock nearly 2.2 million rainbow trout every year, which is by far we stock more rainbow trout than any other species. Next, we'll talk about golden rainbow trout. So what is a golden rainbow trout? It's a color variation of a rainbow trout. It's not its own species in Pennsylvania. It's just a color variant of the rainbow trout. They're deep golden yellow in body color, which you can see here on the picture on the right hand side. They have pink or red tones on their cheeks and lateral line. 
When the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission stocks them, we stock them as two or three year olds. And typically they range anywhere from 14 to 20 inches in length. So annually, the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission stocks nearly 14,000 golden rainbow trout. Um, right now, we stock roughly 535 stream sections with nearly 12,000 fish. We also stock 76 lakes with nearly 2,000 fish. 10,500 of these fish are stocked during the pre-season period, while the remaining 3,500 are stocked during the in-season period. All counties, so all 67 of the state's counties, are stocked with golden rainbow trout either during the pre-season and or in-season stocking periods. So no matter where you live at in the state or where you fish, we're stocking golden rainbow trout somewhere near you. The next species we'll talk about is the lake trout, commonly referred to as the gray trout, the great lake trout, the Mackinac. Lake trout are native to North America, from Alaska, east to Nova Scotia, and as far south as the Great Lakes. So Pennsylvania is on the southern limit of their native distribution. They're currently widely distributed in northern portions of North America, northern United States, west of the Rocky Mountains. Lake trout prefer deep, cold, well oxygenated waters. They prefer depths of anywhere from 50 to 200 feet. Their diet consists of invertebrates, both terrestrial and aquatic. They also eat other fish, crustaceans, and the juvenile life stage of the lake trout also will eat plankton. The preferred temperature range for optimal feeding and growth of lake trout is anywhere from 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The upper temperature tolerance limit for lake trout is around 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So as water temperatures get into the mid 60s and approach 70, this provides less than ideal conditions for the survival of lake trout. Unlike the other three species we talked about, uh, lake trout are very long living. They live 20 plus years. 60 years is the oldest recorded age of a lake trout. They usually reach sexual maturity anywhere from six to eight years of age. Looking at the chart on the right hand side, you can see that they are very long lived fish and are very slow growing. They spawn in the autumn, anytime from September through December. Now let's take a look at the distribution of wild and stocked lake trout throughout the state. And again, this is not going to include Lake Erie. So we've documented them in five lakes, including the Allegheny Reservoir in Warren County, Crystal Lake in Lackawanna County, the East Branch Clarion River Dam in Elk County, Lake Raystown in Huntington County, and Laurel Creek Reservoir located in Mifflin County. We also stock yearlings and fingerlings every year in three impoundments, the Allegheny Reservoir, East Branch Clarion River Dam, and Lake Raystown. So where are there a few of the best streams and rivers to catch wild trout in Pennsylvania? So this is what we consider just a few of them. Obviously there's far more than what is on this list, but a few of them would include Big Spring Creek in Cumberland County, perfect place to go and target some large brook trout, um, Fishing Creek in Clinton County, our longest wild trout stream in the state, Kettle Creek in Potter County, Lackawanna River, the Little Juniata River, very um, well-renowned brown trout fisheries in Pennsylvania. Penn's Creek, again, one of our best brown trout streams in the state. Yellow Creek, Tub Mill Creek, just to name a few. But wait, there are more. Aside from the few streams that were mentioned in the previous slide, Pennsylvania has over 5,500 streams where we've documented the presence of wild trout, which total nearly 17,000 miles of wild trout waters in Pennsylvania. So no matter where you're fishing at in the state, Wild trout have been documented in all but four counties. So there's wild trout island opportunities almost everywhere in Pennsylvania. Also, we have a subset of our wild trout streams, which is our Class A streams. These streams represent the best of Pennsylvania's wild trout resources and represent approximately 6% of all flowing water in Pennsylvania. We have nearly 1,100 Class A sections in Pennsylvania, which total over 2,700 miles. So again, these 1037 stream sections represent the best of what Pennsylvania has to offer when targeting wild trout. Pennsylvania truly provides some world-class trout fishing opportunities. You can see here is a breakdown of some of our wild trout streams as they compare to some popular streams out west. You can see the Little Juniata River and Spring Creek, just two to name a few of how they stack up in the number of adults per mile when compared to some of the more high profile waters people think of as providing world-class fishing opportunities. So Pennsylvania truly 
does have world-class opportunities for anglers targeting wild trout. So what are a few of the best streams and rivers to catch stock trout in Pennsylvania? As similar to our wild trout stream list, this is only represents a few of the opportunities out there. A couple of the more high, pro high profile ones that come to mind would be the Allegheny River, Jordan Creek in Lehigh County, Kettle Creek is certainly a destination area located in Clinton and Potter County, Oil Creek in Venango County, the West Branch Susquehanna River in Clearfield County, and Yellow Breaches Creek in Cumberland County, just to name a few. But wait, there's more. In addition to the stock trout streams mentioned on the previous slide, we also stock 1,050 stream sections, roughly 4,600 miles of streams with adult catchable size hatchery trout. There are stock stream sections in every single county in the state. Also a great tool is our county stocking schedule on our website. This provides all the information needed for a great fishing experience. As part of the trout stocking schedule, we list the water that's being stocked, what section with, with the limits that are being stocked. We also provide the day of the stocking, and also we provide what species is being stocked. So if you want to target streams that are being stocked with golden rainbow trout, we identify every single water on the county guide that is stocked with golden rainbow trout. A few of the best lakes to catch stock trout are also listed here. They would include Antietam Reservoir in Berks County, Canoe Creek, Blair County, Locust Lake in Schuylkill County, Poe Lake in Center County, just to name a few. As you can see on the map on the right, we currently stock 128 lakes throughout the Commonwealth with adult hatchery fish. So again, no matter where you're located, there's opportunities close by to fish for stock trout in a lake setting. Some tailwater opportunities. There's very few tailwaters in Pennsylvania. We do have some. A couple of the more notable ones would be the Allegheny River, Lackawaxen River, the Lehigh River, the West Branch Delaware River is probably the most popular one and most prolific wild trout population in a tailwater. Um, so again, we do have some opportunities to fish in a tailwater setting in Pennsylvania. So what type of tackle and gear should you use for when fishing for trout? There's a lot of different options out there. Anything from bait, which would include worms, salmon eggs, minnows, or corn. Artificial lures, which would include things like spinners or palas and soft plastics. Or even flies, which would be dry flies, nymphs, streamers. So there's various terminal tackle that can be used to target trout in Pennsylvania. As far as gear goes, what are we looking for? Usually we want to use light tackle. Anything from a two to a seven weight if you're choosing to fish with a fly rod. Ultralight to medium action rods with small light pound test, anywhere from two to pound test usually works best. Also, if you're targeting trout through the ice, tip ups are also a valuable option. Other gear would include waders, vest, a tackle box, some landing nets, a wading staff. And depending if you're fishing a big flowing water lake, you may want to use a canoe or kayak as well. So when and where to fish for trout in Pennsylvania, if you're targeting stock trout in a stream or river, Every county has a stream or river that's stocked with catchable sized trout. The best fishing typically occurs from opening day through early June and again in September through October. Targeting wild fish in a stream or river? 63 of the 67 counties in the state have wild trout. Wild trout fisheries provide a great year round angling opportunities. If you're targeting stock trout in a lake, 54 of the 67 counties have lakes stocked with catchable sized trout. Also, 80 lakes are stocked during the fall and winter period to provide additional recreational opportunities throughout the winter. Some of the best fishing occurs from opening day through early June and again in November through January. Trying to target stock for wild trout and tailwaters? Usually our tailwater fisheries are stocked with both catchable size and fingerling trout. Some also harbor wild trout populations. These tailwater fisheries provide great year-round fishing opportunities. Additional available resources. Our website has a plethora of information that's available for the anglers wishing to target trout, regardless if they're fishing for stock trout or wild trout. The agency's website is a great resource for identifying not only when and where to fish, um, but some of the more, more management plans we have, looking at summary books, the county guides, our best fishing waters, anything that's specific to trout management and trout fishing in Pennsylvania can be found on our website. I would encourage you to, to visit our website and take some time to really visit all the unique resources that are available through our agency's website. Please submit questions in a written form that the panel has instructed. And thank you for your attention and interest.